In this course, we are going to design and build an online banking system using microservices. In a modern online bank, sky is really the limit. You can build dozens of features, lending, investments, rewards, cards, analytics, and much more. But in this course, we are going to be deliberate. We'll focus on a carefully chosen set of core banking capabilities the ones that form the foundation of almost every real bank. By narrowing the scope, we can go deeper and build these flows the way they are actually implemented in real production environments. Before we go any further, let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Raman and I have been working in IT for over 20 years, primarily building large-scale backend systems in banking, fintech, and other enterprise domains. Over the years, I have seen where financial systems succeed and where they fail. Scalability issues, security oversights, weak domain modeling, and poor architectural decisions are far more common than they actually should be. In this course, we'll address those challenges directly using practical examples and real design decisions, not abstract theory. Now, before we dig into API contracts, code, or architecture diagrams, we need to align on one thing. What does the functional flow of a bank actually look like in the context of this course? In the next video, we'll define our functional MVP. We'll walk through the core user journey and clearly establish what we are building and just as importantly, what we are not building. The foundation will guide every technical decision that follows. I'll see you in the next lesson.